This tech tip will cover the basics for getting started with ATI's Vehicle Communication Gateway, also known as VCG. The VCG allows users to bridge multiple modules and buses, including CAN, CANFD, LIN, and Automotive Ethernet with this single, easy-to-configure, standalone data translation device. The VCG will host user-developed programs for applications such as node simulation, watchdog timer functions, CAN-to-CAN-FD translation, and more. Configuration software and script reference guide. Unlike other vision devices, the VCG has the configuration software built into the unit. This allows for configuration from any PC. When users first plug the VCG into their PC, it should detect the onboard memory card. If users look at the contents of the memory card, they will see two links that open web browser pages, one for the ATI Easy Web UI and one for the ATI VCG Script API reference page. Alternatively, typing http colon slash slash vcg oneati to a web browser will also bring up the interface so long as the unit is connected to a PC. ATI Easy Web UI. The API Easy Web UI will provide configuration utilities for the VCG, including the following options. Home displays the name, serial number, firmware level, harbor revision, if the device is connected, and the Ethernet, MAC, and IP address of the device. The Home tab also lists what ports are available for configuration. Monitor. Users are able to select a CAN or LIN channel to monitor traffic. Selecting the Start Monitor button on the right side allows users to choose the channel they wish to view. Users can stop monitoring by selecting the Stop button and can save the monitor log to a CSV file by clicking on the Save Log button. Please note, the monitor only works if the channels the user wishes to view have been started and are using the appropriate scripting commands in the editor. Editor allows users to edit, import, export scripts, and save configuration to the VCG. The Editor tab provides users with a scripting interface complete with IntelliSense for device configuration. Users also have the ability to import and export their script text to JavaScript files if they wish to code in a different editing tool. When running the VCG in standalone, the Run button at the top of the interface writes the script to the VCG and allows users to start and test the VCG while it's connected to the PC. Once a script is written to the VCG, it's ready for standalone operation. Every time the VCG is powered from the harness, the script will automatically run. The output window provides information when the script is run or halted, including if any syntax errors are detected. API Reference Links to the VCG scripting library. VCG scripts are coded in JavaScript using ECMA standards. The API reference includes the language extensions that are available for use with the VCG. The VCG scripting reference guide can be accessed with the link on the SD card or from the API reference tab in the web UI. This provides all the commands users need to configure the VCG to suit their project. In addition, the guide provides example scripts for use cases like receiving and modifying CAN messages, receiving LIN messages and retransmitting on CAN, and converting a multiplex CAN message to multiple IDs.